Under the shady canopy of trees at Wat Ba Sangam, all 12 novices learned and developed their skills using the Dhamma and nature throughout the day. After the activities, Pra Ajahn and the novices gathered for Nampana at the water pavilion. The monastic mentors distributed many kinds of Nampana and chocolate, which is considered to be Besacha to Pra Ajahn and the novices. This is the traditional way to distribute food. The monk in charge of food distribution is called Batu Desaka. In the past, the food from the alms round was not a lot. Having a Patu Desaka is a way to distribute the food equally. The Patu Desaka has to be mindful not to have partiality. At present, distribution of food is used in many occasions. For example, when Pra Ajahn notices that monks or novices are hesitant to choose food or cannot estimate their own food, he will distribute the food instead. After the Nampana session, Pra Ajahn reminded the new novices to be calm and mindful when washing the utensils. Try to do it in the way that quickly and quietly, with mindfulness, put it over there. After sunset, the evening chant began as usual. All 12 novices followed Pra Ajahn and the monastic mentors to the Upasata Hall to do the monks' tasks. To the Blessed One, the Lord, who fully attained perfect enlightenment, to the teaching which he expounded so well, the evening chant is another way to practice sila, concentration and wisdom to prepare for other tasks. Moreover, it is also beneficial for the monks to reach the Buddha's teaching. The evening chant is quite long, so it is difficult for the novices to memorize. However, they put in an effort to practice and try to overcome obstacles in order to recite with Pra Ajahn. After the evening's chant, the novices moved to the study hall. Pra Ajahn updated the novices on the news that the boys had been discovered alive and safe after 10 days in the flooded Tam Luang Nang Non cave in Chiang Rai province. You know, the kid was stick, stuck in the cave, 12 kids. They survived because they meditated. Yeah, the coach, the, the coach was uh, ordained before. He was ordained as a novice and ordained as a monk. So it's completely dark, 
no food. You know, so what do you do? You have to preserve your energy. So the coach trained them to meditate, and then just drink the water dripping from the from the cave. So they are alive that way. So. During the Dhamma storytelling session, Praajan illustrated the Buddha's manner. What to do with each posture and how you sit, how you stand, how you walk, and how you sleep as well. It's important that we change our posture in order to make a balance to your body, to our body. From the first picture, Praajan explained that sitting cross-legged was the best sitting posture. The Buddha sat in this posture until he achieved the Dharma, so the novices should learn how to sit in this posture properly. Praajan demonstrated the correct sitting posture to the novices. Sit straight like this. When you sit straight, the body, when you breathe, it's easier to breathe when you sit straight because you're body is straight and calm, your muscles are not uh, too tight. If you sit like this, your muscles are tight on your back. If you do like this, your muscles are tight on your shoulders. So if you sit like this, it's calm and it's in, it's in its natural position. The next picture was about the reclining posture. One is lying on the right flank, his head cradled in his right hand. The left arm is on his body, and the left foot is positioned on top of the right foot. Buddha rests all the time like this, maybe. And when, before he got Parinibbana, he, before he got Parinibbana, he, he, had, he slept like that as well. The last picture illustrated the standing and walking manner during the alms round. So see how, how Buddha is walking with his hand in very proper, properly restrained. His eyes are down, not looking here and there like some novices do here. And you walk slowly, not too fast, not too slow like in a normal place. And while you walk, you always put your hands in, in front, not walking like. Before the activity ended, Praajan explained the history of Ashoka the Great, who believed in Buddhism after he noticed the mindful novices walking past him. He then played an important role in spreading Buddhism during his reign. So uh, the novice, he, the King Asoka, invited the novice in the palace to give a teaching. And then the novice go up to the throne and they give the, the teaching about the uh, upper matter, not, not uh, be mindful. And the King Asoka turned into, uh, he turned into Buddhism. And then from then he, sp he spread, he sent the missionary to Thailand. So the Thailand have Buddhism because of just one novice. So see how important it is for you to learn all of this and then try to be composed when you go in, in town. You know, people will respect you a lot. You know, put, put the food in your bowl. So you have to learn how to behave properly in the, in the right manner. Then Praajan taught the novices to meditate. Afterwards, some novices told Praajan how they maintained mindfulness during the meditation. Because really itchy, I try to download Kano, uh, Kano, but it sometimes doesn't happen. Kano, Kano. 
itchy, itchy. You can try, try to, when when you have a pain or itchy, try not to move. Okay, just just see what is what is it like. Try to describe it. There are many kind of itchy. Some kind of itchy is like the ant bite. What is the duration of it? What is it spreading to? You know, sometimes it's like chopping. Sometimes sharp shooting. You know, you, when you when you look at that in that way, then you can it can you can bear it longer. And sometimes it go away. It doesn't stay the same. It's, it comes down. It's increasing and it's lowering and up and down. So try to do that. Many lessons that the novices have learnt require effort and dedication. The Buddha's teaching was used to train them to be in the Dhamma. This will be useful for the novices and others in the future. It's another morning for the 12 novices. The novices still had to fight against the hindrances, especially drowsiness. The morning chant was about to begin. The chant conveyed the truth of life filled with suffering, the origin of suffering, and the path to the cessation of suffering by using the Dharma. Antamayang ratanataya panamagata yo chewa sangwega parikita na patancha banamase Boto sosoto karuna mahanabo The Buddha absolutely pure with ocean like compassion Yo chanta sutta varanya nalo jano Possessing the clear sight of wisdom. The harmonic chant this morning reflected their progress. The statement Anchali Wanta Apiwat is the steps of Buddhist prostration in which the head, hands, and feet touch the ground. Anchali means the gesture of lifting up hands to the chest, while wanta means lifting up hands to the forehead, and apiwat means prostration. Warm sunshine appeared just in time for the alms round. Going for the alms round in nice weather was like exercise for the novices.
the Buddhists around Wat Ba Sangam were waiting to offer alms as usual. Over the centuries, the belief in Buddhism has been carried on from one generation to the next. For the survival of the monastic community, the Buddha allowed monks to receive alms for useful articles and cooked food in order to survive to practice the Dhamma. Sometimes they offered dried food and necessary items for the monks. The faithful come from near and far to offer alms to the monks along with the people of Det Udom. After the alms round, the novices washed Pra Ajahn's feet. Ajahn had the novices review the ten precepts. The ten precepts were in both Pali language and an English translation, which took a long time. Anunya Sikho Pakawa Samanera Nanta Sikha Patani Esuja Samanere Sikitu those who were able to memorize the chant helped the other novices who could not. Musawa, 
มิชาติทีโกโหตีพิคูนิทูสโกโหตีอนุญญาสิโคภควาเดย์พระอาจารย์ punished the novice who dropped his alms bowl cover, as stated yesterday, by having him stand on one foot and apologizing. We probably uh, gonna do the punishment now this morning. Who remember since yesterday? Who how many times you drop your bowlets? Okay, j u s stand up. Okay, your one leg. Say. I, I will be mindful. I will be mindful. I will not. I will not drop my bullet again. Okay. For that, t a m a s a n g h a please forgive me. I will be mindful and I won't drop my bullet again. b u r a d a m a s a n g h a please forgive me. I'll be mindful and I won't drop my bullet again. Okay, sit down. The meal time went much more smoothly than before. The nature of Wat Ba s a i n g a m and Pra Ajan's teaching has gradually developed the novices. After breakfast, the novices tidied up their own requisites and continued practicing. The vinaya sets very strict rules about the alms bowls, because in the past the bowls were made of clay and easily broken. Though today the alms bowls are made of steel or stainless steel, the monks still follow these rules, as it helps them to concentrate on meditation and also teaches them responsibility. Pra Ajan gave the novices the heart-leaved moon seed. Good medicine tastes bitter. Even though the heart-leaved moon seed is bitter, it has many benefits for the body. Each novice reacted to its taste differently. It's good medicine. Swallow it. Good, good for your digestion. Some of them ate more heart-leaved moon seed than others. Did they come here? Because you come the last, then you have double. In the middle of the second week, the little novices have practiced monastic ways for many days. p r 
Pra Ajahn led the novices in a walking meditation to the water pavilion. Since the novices were easily distracted, Pra Ajahn reminded them to be mindful during the walking meditation. Why don't touch me? You fluffy. Quick, quick. Yeah. Ow. Otherwise, the end will bite. Careful, you have a lot of ants. I, I am sure to step on it. Oh. Okay, be careful, you just have to step on top of it. Yeah, here, come here. Sometimes the big one is can be very painful when they bite you. Yeah, you see, if okay. you have a big like uh, this. like this, it's called it's called motlin motlin, very very painful. I, I got I got bite. You got bite already, motlin. Yeah, in by small. Yeah. Have you got bite by motlin? Yeah. Okay, we can spread the loving kindness to them. Okay, may they be wise, may they be peace, may they be well. Even though the novices have gone for alms rounds many times, some of them are still not familiar with walking barefoot on bumpy roads, so they have to continue practicing. In today's lesson, Pra Ajahn asked the novices how they maintain the ten precepts and had them ask questions. The novices were interested in the first precept, which is to refrain from destroying living creatures. And you, you contemplate on those ten, have you break any of those ten rules? Hmm? Have any of you... Hmm? Did don't, you kill, don't look at anybody else, look at ourselves. I, I, I killed the mosquito, but I, I killed the project and then I will not do it again and it didn't. Okay, if you intentionally kill the mosquito, then, then that's a break the first precept. Actually, when you break the first five precepts, if you break it, but you have to intend to keep it again and make it purify your precept. What, what do you break? Then? There was a little bit of ants on the... On the on the, like, the, por the porch a little bit, and then I, I, I didn't see it, and then I actually stood on some of them. I saw one. You but didn't see it, so you step on it, right? Yeah, but I saw, I just saw just one, and I was like, okay. hmm, that's so weird. So these, the these two, you have to you have intention to kill, okay? If you're not intention, you don't know, it's, it's, it's okay, you're not breaking these rules, okay? After a while, Pra Ajahn advised the novices on how to keep the ten precepts. We're not looking at other people because we don't know their intention, okay? We watch ourselves, okay? What ourselves, because we know our intention is. We're the only one who know our intention. We, are we intend to kill it or not? Nobody know, see? Because we're the one who know, right? So that the precept is for us to look at us. Don't, don't worry about other people. Maybe other people may kill. May I, may I keep this rule? I will not kill like other people, okay? So if, if you... Break these five things, then you have to renew it by taking the triple gems again and uh, repeat the ten precepts again, okay? Apart from the first precept, the novices still wondered about many things. Ping, 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 ping. If, you, then, if you're thinking, then you consider then breaking this rule. Yeah. Rather than thinking, you do the chanting. It's many good meaning. Yeah, this sorry. is what should be done by one who is skilled in goodness. Right? We do that. Can, we, can, you, can you switch from thinking to chanting? Yeah. From whistling. And its purpose is a lot of meaning in that. So when you go back home and your, your mom and your father ask, what do you learn? Yeah? If you don't remember anything, how can you tell them? Can we use lotion? Lotion? For no. what reason? Why do you use lotion? So skin no burn. Uh -huh. Look at my skin. My mom actually doesn't allow me to stay like this. Ah, okay. If it's uh, for medicinal purpose, it's okay. But if it's for beautification, then it's not okay. At the end of the lesson, 
Prajan encouraged and advised the novices to keep up with their practice. And then tomorrow, do it better before you go arm for, for arms, okay? Prepare your sitting cards, prepare your, your, your bow stand, everything, spit tone, okay? Like, okay? like we see in the picture, okay? Can you do that? Yes! yes. Okay, so tomorrow you have to be more, more quicker in your putting on your rope, in your put on barikan, putting on your, your bow stand, your bow, okay? Look at the picture and try to do like that. Don't let Ajahn T have to do it for you. Okay, you are grown up. You have to take responsibility now. Day after day, the practice has been more intense and more serious. This is the next step to refine the young novices in the pattern of Sila. There are still lots of lessons for these 12 novices to learn to be the inheritors of the Buddha. In the learning session, the novices participated in a living a sustainable life activity. O introduced Tanawat, or Bei, together with Nan, creators who invent things from waste. They are the real transformer. They are doing a, a, a page mm -hmm. about Tamda. You know what Tamda is? Tamda. Tam is make. Tam da is just, just do it. Just do it. Just make. And tam da is also very similar to tamada, which is tamma da, ordinary thing. They make ordinary things into amazing things. Bei and Nan demonstrated creative inventions from worthless materials and upgrading them by adding creative ideas. Okay, now you have to guess. What um, is... It's always there, it's showing us. What is it? The boat. I think that is for holding it together. You use hangers. Yes. Too you many hangers. Use it to oh. hold it together, yes. What is it? Oh, it's a bike holder. It's a bicycle holder. After talking about the process, O asked the novices some questions. You guys are living <laughs> here in the temple. And what we want to do is we want to make something, transform something from this place and to be used in this place. This activity allowed the novices to make their own creative inventions from waste found around the temple. The rule was that each novice had to create something based on three materials that were chosen by their friends. Someone then been said pick up three things. Here. Three things quickly, quickly. Quick, 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 three things from there. Okay, and give it to Samanen Patik. Oh yes. <laughs> Please, Samanen try that. Three things and give it to someone in Pin Pin. Bei gave suggestions to the novices before they started. Okay. เราปรับเปลี่ยนมันได้ไหมเป็นของอีกอย่างหนึ่งได้ไหมโอเคยูจัสต์ทิกเกอร์ดับ
Look at it, look at it, pay attention to it, and turn it around, and imagine what things can it be transformed to. Not long after they got the instruction, some novices knew exactly what they would like to invent. I think I know what to do now. It's like a plan pot. Sorry? A plan pot. But, but it will be also like an um, uh, uh, insect farm, so I'll put like insects that help the, make the dirt better in there. Then the novices began to create things with Bay, O, and Pra Ajan. Afterward, O let each novice present his work. This is a fish feeder. A fish feeder, okay. Yeah. Fish feeder. You open, you open the top. Okay, show. You open the top. You, you put have a, a clothes and have a cover. You put open food. the top. Put the food uh, in there. Yeah, and then you shut it. And shut it. And then you, it comes and out. The food will be here. Open. You, you do open. that. You open it. Yeah. You get this out. Yeah. You put it on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, it comes out there. End, and yeah. then at the end, if you can take this out. And if there's leftover food, you can open this and you can tip the leftover food. Oh. It's a water gun. Water gun. Put it now. Show me, show me, please. Um, I have water. Behind there, yeah. maybe. Oh. <laughs> ah, okay. And you have the green handle. Wow. Yes. And what's on the top? Oh, no, it's for drinking. It's drinking water. Because when you play water gun, you might get tired. Some of the novices' inventions were inspired by their daily routines. It's the lazy feet washer. Feet washer. You, 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 you stick it to the the pot, the o, uh, next oh, next to the one. You, instead of washing your feet like Ow. that, you can just do this and pour water oh, in. Turn around. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah, there, and the water come out from there. <laughs> After we come back to Bindabad, we need to wash our feet. Oh, but it's, but, oh but, you use it in this place. No, 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 but it's hard to use oh, okay. it and then do this. And so they you cover just here, Adan. Some were able to create very practical inventions that received compliments from the instructors. It's like when you put dirt inside it and you put seeds in and water it so it grows. It grows. And this one is for making it balance so that it doesn't fall over. Okay. And, yeah. and you, you can carry it? Yeah, and you can carry it using here. So you don't have to like, it's like more easier to do it. In the city, people don't have sunlight. Yeah. And the plants, they need sunlight. When you have this, you grow like that. And when the sun goes somewhere else, you just put it there and the sun go there, you just chase the sun like that. So your plant get the sun. Yeah. What do you think, Ajahn? <laughs> Maybe when it grow up, you can go to the market. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, sell it in the market like that. The others isolated themselves to test their inventions. At the end of the session, O summarized what the instructors taught and advised to the novices. I think I have been many ideas. Maybe I go back home and create <laughs> <laughs> for a new, new in innovation. So George get here, man. Yes. The best. Because Jinakan dek, man, can't be thing. Before leaving. Pra Ajahn let the representative of the novices thank and bless the instructors. Uh, thank you very much for teaching us to think in different ways and creating new innovations uh, to make life more easier. And uh, 
I I learned that uh, we we like uh, we could make things out of any material because a, a, everything could make a use. During this afternoon's activity, the novices combine knowledge from Bay with their own creativity to create invention from waste. Creating a variety of new inventions from waste and using them in daily life is a way to recycle garbage in the world and also to add value to those wastes. This is a way to live without harming natural resources and the environment. Please follow the summary of daily routines tomorrow at 9 o'clock p.m. Follow us worldwide through the streaming on www.truelittlemonk.com or Facebook, True Little Monk. The dual language broadcast is available on True Vision channels 60 and 99 and True Vision HD channels 119 and 333 and True Blue Panya channel. The dual language live broadcast is accessible 24 hours on True ID and True Blukbanya applications. We would like to invite all Buddhists to an alms offering of dried food for True Little Monk, a wisdom training program for novices, at 6 o'clock a.m. at Wat Ba Sangam, Date Udom, Ubon Rachatani, 